Hello everyone. Welcome to the last task of week 5, task number 25. In this task, we are going to write a program to find the height of a building where the user enters the angle and the distance from the building. Okay. So basically, uh, you can see over here, uh, this is uh, the height of the building has to be found out where the user enters the distance and the angle okay so two things the user is going to enter one more thing to note the angle entered by the user is in degrees okay so let's say the user enters 45 degrees over here and let's say one kilometer over here okay or thousand meters over here right so you have to find out what is the height okay now so let's begin okay so now the concept behind this is uh, we are going to use basic uh, trigonometry over here right so uh, if you have the angle and if you have one of the sides then you can find the other side because this is nothing but tan theta so we all know from trigonometry that uh, tan theta is nothing but uh, opposite upon adjacent right so tan if let's say this angle is theta right the angle of elevation is theta then uh, tan theta will be the height divided by the distance okay since here we need the height so height will be nothing but distance into tan theta right so this is what the formula is that we are going to use right now to find out tan theta uh, in the previous uh, few tasks we if you remember the first task in this week we have used the math library right and uh, when explaining you the math library i have shown you what are the different functions that are there right and tan was one of the functions that was there in the math library so we are going to use the math library to find out the value uh, or the solution to this problem right so let us begin so as we know we need the math library i will just start with the library right i will write math.h okay i will include that then the second thing is i need three variables one for the angle to store the angle second to store the distance and third to store the height right so let us uh, take them as float right float let's say a is for angle height h and distance d right so if uh, if you want to be more descriptive you can just write angle height and distance okay so this is a bit more descriptive then i can start with uh, describing the program to the user let's say it does simple height finder okay so i have named my app now i can take the input from the user the input is going to be uh, i will need to have a scanf as well as a printf right now this scanf will be for the angle right so let's let's do percentage uh, since it's float i will use percentage f then the ampersand sign and angle sorry angle right and then over here i will just write enter uh, let me see angle of elevation right elevation in degrees right it's very important it should be in degrees right once we get that then i will do the same thing again and i will just write enter distance in let's say meters right and here it will be distance right so now the inputs are done so now i have two inputs angle and distance and i want to find the height so height is equal to it is distance 
into tan of the angle right so angle here is uh, angle right but there is a slight problem over here this angle is in degrees right since the, in the program uh, in the aim itself it is written the elevation of the angle is given in degrees but the formula tan theta in the math library is, uses the angle in the form of radians and not in degrees right so we would have to convert degrees into radians now to convert degrees into radians you just have to uh, you, you all must be knowing that pi radians is nothing but 180 degrees right now to convert any value any degree into uh, any degree into radians you just have to multiply uh, by pi by 180 right so I will just do into okay and now I want to uh, use the value of pi right so the you can actually write 3.142 over here okay and then divided by 180 right so this is one option or you can actually define a sorry hash define it should be hash define and define the value of pi as 3.142 okay and then you can use pi over here directly okay so we have learned this in previous uh, previous tasks right so once this is done now i have converted the angle which is in degrees to radians with the help of this okay so now if i run this i should get the height okay so once i calculate the height i should print the height now to print this height i would use printf right and i would just say height of b u i l t i n g building is let's say percentage f because distance sorry height is in float right and meters right so height of the building is this much meters and i will just add what this percentage f is going to be replaced with that is the g i height right so uh, i think the program is done let's run it and find out let the angle be 45 degrees and let the distance be let's say 500 meters okay and if i enter the height of the building is 500 perfect okay because it is a uh, um, 45 degree angle it should your height and the uh, distance should be almost same right so let's try it one more time let's let's say the angle is only 10 degrees and the distance is around 2 kilometers right if i enter your height of the building is 352 meters right perfect okay i hope you understood how we uh, we use c programming to find out solutions to real world problems okay so see you in the next week with uh, loops we will be introducing how to use loops in c programming language